guys, it is your boy Sesso here, bringing you guys a video of the gym of the month of <laughs> <laughs> all right you know what i'm just gonna just gonna go with it uh yo what is going on guys it is your boy sister here bring guys a video here today bring guys a simplistic series video um so yeah just like this is more cool this is like a cool like simplistic grunge maybe we're gonna have the, the title i'm not entirely always sure or like outdoorsy i have no idea but you guys know the formula for simplistic series if you guys don't know about it basically it's just trying to take these really cool very simple designs and maybe like low effort and or low amount of layers and whatnot and kind of just make something really cool that you can do very very easily so that's the whole point of simplistic series uh, we also usually always have a form of using like mountains just because mountains are super aesthetic, bro. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go to Google and kind of Google in like mountains, go to like your tools, make sure you're searching for a size that is, uh, let me just, I guess, let me show you really quickly just so you guys know what I mean. <clears throat> if you're in Google images, uh, right here, cool, 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 right? Go to make sure you go to your tools, go to your size larger than make sure you're always searching for something around like two megapixels to like four, me uh, six megapixels. It'll find you the best quality possible. It's probably like the, it's definitely the best way to go when it comes to it. Um, but yeah, just hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Also, today's video is also inspired, I almost forgot to say, uh, Palix. This is a really cool designer that I personally saw on my live stream a couple months ago. Um, like, quite a long time ago, like June. But I knew it was, I, I remember seeing this header, and I was just like, dude, this is, a, this is one of the coolest headers I've seen in a while in these live streams. I definitely wanted to take inspiration from it, so this is where I got it from. It's a very cool Tropical Horizon kind of header design. Um, to, I, could, I took the color scheme as well as this little backing sort of like little fade, um, kind of text work, right? And uh, yeah, so pretty much the only two things you're going to be using today's video is a mountain, as well as if you guys want to choose to buy it, it's $5, uh, the Align Pack, $5 is the stock brush pack, it's like almost 400 ish maybe even more, I have no idea at this point, but there's a crap ton of brush stocks you can definitely use, um, this is the newest update, and I'm using this brush right here, I'm probably going to replace the brush with something a little bit more different, and or just make a new one for you guys, um, to get this really cool little grungy feel, that's all I'm basically using, it's just the brush, and like the mountain itself, right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video here today, as always guys, 200 likes on the video equals a secret knife below and uh well most likely did i say that <laughs> so can you tell i'm like tired uh <laughs> 200 likes on the video equals a secret download below which will most likely be the psd of the video um that you guys see right here so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'm just gonna get this thing going and hopefully you guys enjoy it so talk to you guys in a second and yeah all right guys so the atrocious intro is now done let's go ahead and continue with this video hopefully it doesn't follow the same feet um so yeah i'm just getting this thing going like i said the only thing you're gonna really need in the head of time is like finding a mountain or like a landscape river or whatever the heck you guys want to do um but yeah all right so let's go ahead and get this i already have one here um right here this is the one i use um just so you guys know that i actually put some stuff in this i did have a camera filter raw on this set so without the actual camera filter raw, it looks more like this. Nothing really that dramatic change, but what I ended up doing was putting up my clarity just to kind of sharpen the image up a lot more so for the gradient to kind of really push itself um, through as well as dehaze. It's almost like using, in a way, like think of it just for now for the aspect of the video is more like a contrast with something a little more controlled, uh, like blends the colors in uh, mostly. And as well, if you go to... Um, where is it? Effects? Yeah, effects grain. I put a lot of grain on. So, so you can see how the grain is actually uh, looking here. It just gives the actual banner's design itself like a very nice aesthetic feeling to it. So that's what I ended up putting on there just so you guys know ahead of time. Um, So yeah, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer of the uh, the actual, how do you say, the mountain itself. Also, you guys are not going to have this. Let me just delete this so you guys don't get mixed up. Um, So yeah, I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer here. So for this first one on the bottom here, we're going to put this on luminosity and we're going to throw this on opacity 15%. This will be our left hand side and our contrast is really nice blue that we're going to be using. So we're going to, of course, throw this on. So just so you guys saw me before, I'm going to turn the uh, say gradient image. Sure. So I'm going to turn on that little white box you guys just saw. That was the, uh, the layer mask, right? So if you guys click right here, it just layer mask just like so. So basically the reason I'm using this is because this is how I'm going to make the little cut, right? I'm going to make this cut right here. That's going to make this. So basically it's just me using the eraser. And the way I'm going to be doing that is if I use a brush, right? Like I said, I'm going to be using this brush here. I'll, I'll make sure I find you guys a, a good enough uh, brush that is just going to give you at least a somewhat the same look. Maybe like even just something like this. You know, it, it'll it'll do it, right? I just don't want to give away this one because this is one of my favorite ones of the actual pack itself. And it, it's just dope, right? I just want you guys to be able to purchase if you guys really want it kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I'm going to find the middle, which is I already have these rulers preset. If you guys don't actually know how to put your rulers in. Let me quickly show you guys. I'll just do it with one of them. So if you press Control R on your keyboard, it brings up these little rulers right here on the bottom and the top, uh, bottom and top, the left and the bottom, left and the top. Okay, <laughs> and uh, basically just take this left hand side, drag it, and where you kind of feel the middle is uh, right here is where I'm circling. Uh, this is where I kind of like feel where the middle would be. So if you kind of feel where the middle would be and kind of like go slowly around to it, you'll feel this little snap. Like right now, I'm trying to feel the snap, and you can kind of vividly see that snap. 
that right there is saying hey that's the middle just so you guys understand that that is where the middle would be so basically i'm taking my black brush so the black brush when you use it on this layer mask it actually erases uh you guess it if you take it to white or turn it to white it'll actually fill it back in so basically you guys just take the black brush and kind of just go with it so you get this nice little line um <clears throat> something like this maybe um for the record as well guys just so you guys know it does not change your foreground color and background color for good uh so basically if i just click back here it just gives you my regular colors as soon as you click on this white uh shape right here it'll automatically give you guys black and white just so you guys know okay and so this way i'm gonna make this brush a little more smaller kind of get in here and just kind of just do like that i think that's pretty good oops yeah that's pretty that's pretty good we'll, we'll take that all right, so next up is obviously the gradient map we're going to use. So, of course, go to your adjustments here, go to gradient map, and then on this gradient map, you want to right click it and then uh, create clip mask, right? So, for this one, excuse me, um, we have this right here, this gradient. So, I had to reverse it, but just so you guys know, the uh, gradient that I'm using here for the highlights and the shadows, like I guess I'm going to reverse this so that way, the, the this is usually the shadow side, and then so this is usually the highlight side, and the right side is usually the shadow side. So, this uh, hex code is 30D1FF. For this blue, if you guys want to choose to use the same one, and for the right hand side, the hex code is zero <clears throat> a one eight three seven. Press OK. <clears throat> Sorry, geez. Press OK again, and we're gonna use the uh, reverse. So that's gonna basically give me just the like flipping the uh, colors themselves, right? So the foreground, uh, excuse me, so the shadows and highlights are flipped, right? So that's a little cool little gradient there. So next up, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just go ahead and type in the word simplistic. Simplistic. Um, here's a new font for you guys, and for me at least. So hopefully, maybe you guys pick it up as well. Um, I know the whole little uh, end of 2018 thing is probably going to be coming soon. The whole little 2018 fonts or whatever. This one right here, Plat, Plate, Plate, I don't know if it's new or whatever, but it's super dope for me. And I, I appreciate the uh, this font right here because it's, it's very futuristic. Also very just kind of, it's it's a sans serif font, of course. But I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. I, I would show you guys it. So here it is. Um, okay, I'm going to use the prime time for the banner, which is going to be on the far right side here or the bottom right side of the word simplistic okay right and this word banner here i'm gonna make this an orange gradient so i'm just gonna click on it go to gradient overlay and just make it that nice little orange gradient so for this orange gradient this yellow is a uh, hex code ffcc1b and then on the right hand side here the orange is going to be hex code ffa82c so press ok press ok press ok again and cool now that we've done that we're gonna make a new layer right above the word simplistic because we're gonna actually put on the uh, little kind of little gradient uh, little thing going on here this just looks really really pretty and whatnot right so make a new layer on this new layer, you want to right click above, or right, just right click, right? It's going to be above the simplistic word. So make sure you click on the word simplistic, right? Or whatever, whatever words in your middle, right? You click on that word. That way, when you make a new layer, it'll put it right above that uh, text layer. Then you want to right click and then press uh, create click mask, right? So now, <clears throat> what you can do is take that brush that you use for to kind of like make this little uh, section here. Then what you're going to do, and by the way, if you press cap locks, it turns on your preview. If you wanted to see the size and whatnot, you can see how it doesn't, you don't see it, but it's still there. When you press cap locks, you can see it. That's just so you guys know. Um, if you hold alt and you drag around your canvas, so you find these little dark spots right here. I believe <clears throat> I used the dark spots. I didn't, so I used the light spots. So I use this one right here. <sighs> so when you hold alt, it actually gives like almost like a color picker and it changes your foreground color in that same time. So if I'm holding alt, I'm dragging around, it'll change. You can see on this left hand side right here, the foreground color, it'll change that color to what that color you're trying to like you're hovering over. So I'm gonna hover over a light spot and I believe that is pretty good. So on this clipping mask, we're just gonna simply just kind of go like so. And then I'll just hover over again and take a black. So I'm gonna make another layer, clip mask it, or even if I'm switching layers just in case I gotta erase one. I'll just give that nice little uh, contrast right there. And I think it was pretty good. So what I like to do as well is kind of fix this out because I kind of like to have uh, this part right here kind of be separated and kind of like follow the line. So the L right here is a little bit too much for me. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much, but for just like kind of like uh, specific just aesthetic reasons, what I like to do is go back to this layer right here, right? Click on it and we're going to go back to this uh, layer mask, right? So we can erase it. If I use a black brush, so let's go to the black brush. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just hold alt, excuse me, control. And you see this little layer right here where we cut it out. You click on that actual layer mask, right? Or that layer mask, this little white thing right here. Go back to this one right here and then just click. So that way it kind of just looks really just like it, it's very flush. It just feels really good in my opinion, right? Um, okay. So now below the text layer, we're just going to group all this stuff together and just call this text. <clears throat> text okay so right below this we're gonna make another text layer so i'm just gonna click and we're just gonna put something in the background this can be whatever this can be like your slogan this can be i'm gonna personally do i believe i did the word uh 
simple banner, I believe. I did. I think the word's a simple, and then banner. I believe the font I did use as well as well as was this one. So the uh, what did you call it? The uh, prime time font. So simple, and then the word banner. Okay. We're gonna take these two and just kind of like make it big enough so that kind of fits the entire canvas, and then we're just gonna rotate it a little bit. So I'm gonna do it a little bit more so that way it kind of fits flush across the entire uh, canvas itself, right? So as you can see, very simple, very easy. <clears throat> I'm gonna group this together. And this is gonna be like the, we're gonna hold the backing text. So you guys can see. And I'm gonna make a duplicate of this backing text. And then I'm gonna just kind of like say this as a backup, just kind of like hide it for now. And then I'm gonna press control E, which is gonna merge the group together. It's gonna bring everything in one simple little layer now. And I'm gonna go to my blend mode from normal and change it to soft light. And then just lower the opacity down a little bit. Uh, is it actually soft light or is it actually multiply or something? I forgot actually, hold on. Quick fix. I believe it actually might be, uh, hmm. I actually forgot. This is a uh, big whoops. And it is, it is soft light. I don't know why it looks a little bit weird. I don't know, for some reason I, I, I knew what it was, right? But I was just like, why does it look weird? Um. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna kind of put this above, right around here, like 48, as you guys saw. So 48 is pretty good. What I'm gonna end up doing now is I'm gonna make another duplicate of this backing text backup. So Control J on the keyboard, drag it up here. So this is the copy, right, that we just created. So with this copy again, Control E to merge that group together, just like so, or you can right click merge the layers, right? Um, where is that at? <clears throat> where is the uh, merge group? There it is, right? So the merge group, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna lower the fill all the way down to zero. What this ends up doing is just kind of like lowering the pass down to uh, zero as well. It gets rid of the picture, but allows the actual layer styles to stay. So with that being said, I can go to my stroke right here. <clears throat> we're gonna change this gradient to the blue that we just used for the backing of the actual picture you used, right? So I'm gonna take this blue I'm gonna make sure I flip it, right, the angle, so that way the uh, the darker side is more closer to this side over here. You can see how this blends too much. I want it to kind of like come off of it. Maybe this is okay. We'll see if this is okay. I'm gonna press okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and rasterize layer type. What this is gonna do is kind of take off everything we just did and make it now its own layer, so that way only the stroke remains. So if you miss this part here, if I'm gonna show you guys really quick, because I'm gonna do after that, when I rasterize it, I re by the way, I just control Z. Um, if I click on this right here, the uh, layer mask, and I wanna delete things, it's gonna give me this really weird, flushy, kind of grungy look. You guys can, if you like it, you like it. But to not get that, all you have to do is rasterize the layer style, then you apply the layer mask, and then you go back and delete it. So that way, let's see here. Where's the brush? There it is. I can go back in here, kind of just loosely get rid of these strokes and kind of highlight some of the the, the word that's in the back uh, the background here. So it looks pretty good, in my opinion. I think it looks uh, yeah, doesn't look bad at all. Um, okay. Now the next part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of fill this in with this little orange right here, right? So the way I ended up doing that was I made a new layer. Uh, excuse me, I didn't actually make a new layer. I went ahead and I control clicked on one of the backings of this right here. So where the backing text is, the first one we did, I'm gonna call this first backing, and we're gonna call this stroke backing. <clears throat> that way you guys can get like a more uh, helpful example when you actually uh, try to apply it to your actual PSDs if you're following along kind of thing, right? So for your first backing here, you're gonna hold control and then click on the thumbnail of the first backing, it's gonna give you this right here. Then what you can do is you can go to your adjustments, go to your gradient map, and it'll apply the gradient map only to the per, uh, the place you selected. So that way, I can go over here, go to this little orange. We use the orange for the banner. We're gonna go to that orange, and uh, naturally, I gotta put it in again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and actually go back to the actual uh, banner text, right? Double click on this, go to the gradient overlay, click on this, and just so you guys know, you can press on the word new, and it'll basically save it for you. So I can go press OK, press OK again. Go over to the uh, gradient map right here. Right, I'm gonna call this orange gradient. <clears throat> and then we're gonna click on this again. And we're gonna go back to the, scroll down to the new one here. And then there's a cool little orange gradient that we just have. So what I can do is I can kind of reverse it, see if I want it to be reversed or not. I kind of do, so I'm gonna say, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna keep it reversed. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this layer mask. It's already, a, it's gonna basically a gradient comes with a layer mask itself. So I can go take my brush. I can take the black, it's already black, and just erase. Just like so. I'm gonna erase, erase, erase very nice and nonchalant. No, I'm gonna erase very nonchalantly and kind of just give myself some some space there. 
I kind of like what's going on here, but I also don't like the fact that I would have to, let me, by the way, when you kind of fill it in, I know that I said black is to erase, white is to fill in, but it's going to fill in the entire thing. So if you're going to want to fill in in certain spots on the text itself, just click control, click on the actual, uh, the word right here, the first backing right here, right? And then back on the gradient and I can just go back and fill it in while using white, right? Uh, let's see. Um, it's kind of a little bit too much in some areas. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to make it a hard brush delete. I'm just going to get rid of these areas here. I don't like that. It's a very, like, I don't like, it's kind of loose there. I, I don't think it looks that bad at all. So I'm just going to keep it just like that for the tutorial's sake. Right. And one last thing I end up doing for the actual gradient here. So above the gradient map right here, right. What I'm going to do is I make a new layer above that. What I end up doing is I would take a nice soft brush, right. And what was the settings? I believe it was linear dodge add. Cool. So on this right here, I'm going to click. You see how I just kind of uh, held alt. I'm selecting like a mid tone. So not too bright, not too dark, but something around that mid tone. So I'm holding all I'm trying to say, like, I think like right here is this is that kind of like matching that uh, mid tone from this right here to this dark right here. So I'm just going to click right there. Hold, hold alt, let go, right? Change my foreground color to that color. I'm going to click just like so. One good old time right around the bottom, right? More toward the blue side. Go to my blend mode from normal. I'm going to change it to linear dodge add. It's going to give me this nice little glow kind of thing too. And I like how that looks. I'm just going to lower the opacity down pretty much to like 40, 45. I'm going to say 40 though for this instance. And you can see how it kind of just makes it look a little more prettier on the bottom. I, I just like how that kind of flows together. And uh, what else is my missing here? I feel like I'm not. Oh yeah. The one, the couple brush hits that I did um, with that nice dark color right here, like a dark blue right from the actual gradient map itself. I took the same brush that I used to cut out this, same brush that I used to fill this in, and kind of just added, you know, a couple little, little something somethings there, just kind of give that little, like, kind of like that flow aesthetic to it. And uh, now that that is pretty much done, the last thing I end up doing is uh, this right here. So if I control, excuse me, if I click on the first layer that we did, right, that last layer, excuse me, which is that, uh, the splats, right, that first layer, hold shift, click on the last layer, including the background, right, press control J. That is gonna make a duplicate of everything. Control E is gonna uh, merge it all together. And we're gonna add a camera filter raw. So if you guys know what to do next, should be always when you're adding a color correction, go to convert to smart object. That way you can always go back and fix a couple things if you don't like it too much. Go to filter, go to camera filter raw. This is gonna give me this nice little, uh, it, kind of like a color correction, just everything in one. And it's very, it's, I would promise you if you, this is new to, you're new to my channel, you never seen color filter raw, this should be when you do mostly all your CCs for like, uh, high adjustments and not just like you don't want to have you know gradient map gradient map color contrast color blur You don't want to have all that in one this like weird mix. It's just gonna mix really weird uh, Oddly, um, so now just so you guys know you can make uh, a preview between the before and after by clicking on this Y down here You can see cycle between before and after if I click it one time You'll see the word before the word after so on the right hand side is the after image and the on the left is the before image. So you can see what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put my clarity up quite a bit I'll say about 25 right D haze little bit vibrance here i'm gonna bring this up just kind of get this nice little rich blue you can see how kind of the blue is getting a little more rich and then temperature drop this to negative six so it's gonna be a nice little blue kind of arctic feel to it um you can see kind of how like that blue is starting to look negative eight looks pretty good too honestly we can see the difference between this like nice white here it, it's still white right but this has like a more of a blue tint to it because of the temperature is changing more toward the blue side which is gonna make it a little more cooler and i think that looks really really nice and now that it's pretty much done I can take my whites, put it up a little bit, maybe. Uh, be careful putting your whites up. You see how, like, the background itself is getting a little bit awkward? Honestly, it looks kind of cool, but I feel like that's just not the way it looked in the end in mine preview, so I'm not going to do that. But it looks pretty cool, honestly. It's, it looks a little bit too, like, uh, kind of, like, just a little bit too much. But you can see, if you mess with your whites, you can mess around with that white background there. I'm actually going to mess around with them. Just kind of just keep these settings. I'm going to say, like, 10 and, like, 20, just to kind of have it be even numbers and whatnot. Uh, for you guys at least and D haze I put at five for you guys to have nice even numbers uh, besides the temperature so now if I press ok this is the before, before and after but if I press ok it'll apply that and uh, there you guys go there is my pretty much a pretty really honestly it's pretty damn close to the actual uh, preview that I had I think this looks really really nice like I said this is more something you can just go ahead and do uh, like Palix did himself by the way if you guys want to go ahead and check out this before I have it in the description as well but this is what Palix did you know what I mean and you can just kind of like add asses these really cool assets uh, these really cool little, um, those are palm tree leaves, coconuts, or, you know, orange. You got an apple right here. His actual, uh, picture for this little gradient here is more or less a, uh, a, uh, kind of like an ocean leading to, like, his really cool tropical islands. And basically, kind of these little streaks, you can kind of do the same exact thing if you want to with the gradient, right? If you just apply the gradient back, 
with the white you can have these little streaks go through I'm not clicking on it right because I'm clicking on it but I have this uh, layer above it so you can't really see what I was doing under it if I uncheck that for a second we can see you can do those little streaks as well if you guys really wanted to um, just like using like the brush itself just going over it again kind of thing so it's really cool I would really just advise you guys to check it out and uh, if you guys didn't like it there's a bunch of other some <laughs> simplistic series um, videos you can just go ahead and check out but this one's I think is gonna be really cool for a lot of you guys and I do hope you guys enjoy it and uh, with that being said this is the this is the end of the video I'm sorry but this is the end of the video um, I'll tell you guys later so so HQ out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay as productive as possible guys I absolutely love you guys. Thank you guys so very much for 90,000 subscribers. We're almost to 100K. It's uh, just really dope. There's a lot of things happening in my life right now that's just like really good. Also, just really shit. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to out the the crappy parts yet because I want to keep the positivity up of this channel. But it's 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 just crazy. Life is crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll talk to you guys later. So HQ out. Just peace. Much love.